Hey guys, what's up? It's JT here with another video. In this video, we're gonna be going over what my parents think about me dipping. More, more kind of towards my mom since I live with my mom, uh, my mom and her boyfriend and my grandma since I hang out with them the most. So let's talk about what they think about me dipping. Right now, if you guys are wondering, I'm dipping on Copenhagen straight. The lighting in this place is horrible, but here it is. Oh, there you go, perfect right now. So let's talk about it. So. Personally, like I started, like I said in my last video, why I dip. I'll put it in the mystery video. Um, how I feel about dipping, I like it. You know, obviously I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't like it. But it's you know, I, I, it's a habit of mine that I don't do often compared to other dippers. I, I dip maybe two times a day. This is my third, so maybe you know on an off day, maybe I'll dip three times a day. Four really rarely. You know, when I when I first took it up, I was dipping a lot, but now that I've been dipping for a while now, I don't dip entirely often I mean a, a tin if I pick up a tin and just dip on that the whole day which I never do but if I dip on the same thing a tin will last me a week maybe you know but I, I buy a lot of tins I, I stock up for the winter when I buy tins and I I buy a fuck ton I bought like right now I have like 10 tins they're all different flavors so what I do is I just you know I have one dip one day and I start with that and I end with a different dip at the end of the day because I dip after breakfast and then after dinner. And that's usually when I dip. And sometimes after lunch if I'm up early enough. But it's summer so I'm usually up pretty late. So I only have two times. I only dip two times. When school starts maybe I'll dip more. But I don't dip that often. So as of right now, two times a day. And I'll smack on one thing in the morning. And a different thing at night. That's usually what I do. So with that being said. This is usually during time that my parents are around. My mom. And personally... How she feels about it and she's you know I gave her a lot of information because she was obviously very worried about the mouth cancer as you can see right here it says right here this part can cause mouth cancer um I dismissed that you know I, I dismissed it and I gave her a lot of research I gave her a lot of statistics online and I give I give her a lot of research that I took into and what I believe right now which I'll save for a different video but pretty much you know I, I searched up how many people get um that's just how I came to the conclusion and you can let me know down in the comments if you have anything to do argue that argument that I make, but here it is. So I searched up how many people get mouth cancer in the United States, right? It's roughly around 200,000 people diagnosed with mouth cancer each year. So if you were to take that number and you divide it by the amount of people who smoke as tobacco, you get a percentage that's pretty small. And there's also a lot of people who go out and Dr. Rudy is another one. I, uh, he was actually on Mudjug One's channel talking about how har not as harmful uh, as smoke tobacco is chewing and dip and personally that's something I've taken into account I, I took everything into account I wanted to make sure he wasn't bought up by smoke uh, by tobacco companies I did a lot of research on it and um, I pretty much come to the conclusion that it's not and the worst thing you could be doing for you and I gave her the information that I done to her and she believes it as I do um although it's definitely unclear right now and in the back of my head I'm always wondering like oh is this really gonna kill me is it really gonna cause mouth cancer now, it would, despite all the information, all the carcinogen stuff, and all the, the research I've done on this stuff, is it really going to kill me? You know, because, you know, it's really hard to say because these things really make it clear that, you know, it's going to kill you. I mean, these things write it off that it's a death sentence. And anti tobacco companies will be the first to tell you that it is a death sentence and you're going to kill yourself. That's what they say. I did a lot of research on my own. I did a lot of, you know, stuff. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because it's the same process I went into when I told my, my parents I dipped. So... And I applied the same research that I did, and that's why I'm including this video so you guys can kind of understand how I went about telling them and how they feel about it. And obviously, in the end, they were just kind of like, you know, fine. He's, he's 16 years old, you know, he's been doing his own thing, and I am 16, and I just figured, you know, he's going to be doing his own thing, so let's just let him do it. Maybe he'll grow out of it, whatever. And that's kind of how my mom feels about right now. My grandma, she's pretty anti. She, she's not a big fan. She'll let me dip around her, but. Yeah, not without telling me her now without telling me her opinion. She's an older lady, so she's you know she she doesn't search the internet. She doesn't research, so you know, she just believes what's what's told to her by you know, what's told to her on the front label. So I'm not like that. You know. And I'm not like that even with marijuana, I'm not like that with L S D, I'm not like that with Molly, I'm not like that with any drug I've ever done. And which don't really surpass those three really. And <laughs> yeah, so I pretty much went about and telling her uh, when I first moved here a couple weeks ago. I just said like, "Hey, you know, here are my tins. I, I dip, and I just want to let you know that um, I'm gonna keep doing it." But 
you know, if you're against it, I want you to let me know, and I won't do it around you, obviously. And you know, she was obviously against it at first, but that was it. And she ended up just accepting me for uh, who I am, and she let, started letting me dip. And that's how I am now. I just I go about and I make my videos, and she knows about my videos too. And she just she lets me dip. So that's pretty much how that is for her. My grandma, she's a little against it. And then my mom's boyfriend, she's, he's pretty much the same with her. He doesn't really like, oh, like oh, that's really cool. Let me try. But he's not. He's not, he's not, he's not budging to it, but I want to keep this video kind of short because it's not really much to say. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, but I'm trying to think about anything else, but they're pretty clear cut in it. There's really no, no debate about it. That's really how they feel about it. I want to make a video on it just in case any of you guys are wondering because I think you, I think everyone knows at this point that I'm 16, I'm not 18, so in case any of you guys are wondering, because I, I do get, I have gotten a few comments asking how old it was, so could the air, I'm 16, and um, yeah, they were just... People wondering how low it's so I guess there'll, there'll be no question about it after this video. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel. So let me know down in the comments below if your parents know you did or how you told your parents you did. Let me know down in the comments. Tell me that story. I love stories. I love stories. I tell them all the time. So why not you tell me a story down in the comments below? Let me know. I love the comments. I say it every day, every fucking day. I say a line actually every single time. But anyways, let me know. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ready to pop, drop, top, fuck cops And I'm never gon' stop Cop drop in my mouth Cause I'm sick with the shit that I spit out the lip Rip and dip with the clip The whole team got a hit real quick